one of the minor irritations we found when we, we would go out for a night to entertainment, we say, was that there were no restaurants, no place for us to go. There's nowhere for people like ourselves. No one catering for us. So about two years ago, uh, when I found myself at a crossroads in my life, I decided that I'd like to get involved in a restaurant and a whole food store. So we had no capital. So uh, I decided to sell the house to realize enough money and get involved with some friends uh, to get a restaurant and a whole food store. That would be as a commercial proposition. And then we also uh, developed a non-profit making organization which we cater for people upstairs, for people who are interested in learning the art of macrobiotic cooking and whole food cooking. Also to provide a hall for yoga, um, or oh, another Eastern self-healing activities such as Tai Chi and lectures on diet and diagnosis and self-developing activities and this is where we are today. I'm working in the East West Foundation which is part of the Golden Dawn restaurant and store and besides working in the store and serving there I also teach uh, Shatsu massage and do dietary recommendations and consultations in the East West Foundation itself. Uh, it goes hand in hand with, with serving in the store because uh, while you're serving the people the food, you're also uh, telling them what uh, benefits they can derive from eating the whole foods that they get here. And you can also tell them uh, if they have a certain complaint, uh, a certain imbalance in, in their body, how to balance that uh, condition out with food. Initially, I came to Whole Foods uh, in a very small way, changing over to eating salads instead of meat. And why I did that initially was because I got very sick and been the rounds of doctors and pills and potions, etc., and nothing worked. And the kind of problems I had were more digestive problems. In other words, I couldn't assimilate food, and uh, I was also very weak and no energy. In other words, I couldn't keep my job going because I just hadn't got the energy. So after I talked to doctors uh, about nutrition and, and got, no, got really nowhere with them because they, don't, they didn't really take nutrition into account at the time, um, I went to some alternative doctors. I went to a homeopath and uh, he told me about how food can affect your, your body, can affect your energy output. So I then met a friend who had been eating uh, whole foods for some years and the drastic change in him uh, encouraged me to to do it. So I threw out meat and sugar and um, the usual diets like potatoes, tomatoes and uh, refined foods like ice cream and white bread etc. Changed over totally to whole foods which included grains, beans, vegetables and some sea vegetables like seaweed. And in about three months I went from 14 stone down to six and a half which was way underweight but to me like it was like magic because this uh, this overweight was incredible. I, I couldn't uh, I couldn't really I couldn't couldn't get about with the same ease as I used to when I was younger. You can imagine 14 stone. So um, not only did it take the weight off, but the digestive problems fixed themselves. I didn't have to take any more pills, and I didn't get any colds. I didn't get flu, which I used to get colds maybe three or four times a year, maybe more. And um, the only thing is that initially I went to it too rigidly, where uh, socially uh, it wrecked me for a while because. Well, when you don't drink coffee or tea or you don't go to a pub, then if that's the social circle you've been moving in at that time, uh, it makes for a pretty uh, contained uh, social environment. So I came away then from being very rigid with it when my health got better and you know my energy increased over a period of time. In about a year, I was back taking some tea, some coffee, uh, and I could socialize. I could go out and have a drink. Right? So. The, the idea really behind it, uh, of eating whole foods, is not that you, that you have to alienate yourself from your friends, from your social uh, circle, but that you can slowly introduce better quality foods, whole foods, like for instance, whole wheat bread instead of white bread, uh, fish instead of meat, uh, organically uh, chicken or free range chicken instead of the stuff you get in the supermarket. And that way you, you can take care of your health, you can, you can prevent an awful lot of